planner friends it's Nia welcome to life with Nia I am here with all of the Friday night lights goodness I think I have five hauls today um, two from cloth and paper and um, one from simply gilded one from sticker guru and uh, one from Elamon Paper Co. So I'm going to start with a cloth and paper order. And um, this order included three of these Basilica candles that I absolutely cannot get enough of. I just, the very first one that was included in the Estite box, I just burned through it yesterday. Um, so I'm so excited to have more. I am ordinarily not a candle person, um, but I am a, I don't want to say I'm a fragrance person because I'm not a perfume person either. Um, but I like like Airwick and Glade. Um, what's the, 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 um, plugins, um, those types of things, the Scentsy, um, but I'm very, very picky on scent. I like warm, cozy type scents. I like like linen, cotton, all that other stuff. I'm not doing that. So this is like a vanilla, it says vanilla winter spice oak. It's just a warm vanilla scent and I love it. I lo love, love, love it. So I got three of those candles and then we got, um, let's see, of course, are, I love these canvas bags. Um, so, I got more of the Lux page flags. So, I got the to do, which I already had. I'm looking at my little package of them. Um, but I got do, which is not one that I had. Do to me looks like schedule. I think I have overlooked it and then looked at it again about 10 times like oh I don't have that one I, I, I want the schedule one but it's not schedule it's due um so it's not one that I had adding it to the collection because um, I do have things that are due by a specific date and also <laughs> I may actually pretend like it says schedule and use it for that purpose so I got that one and then I got an extra to do because I always have to-do lists so um, we have that. Then I got these, um, tasks, this task card set. I had been, um, completely overlooking and missing this on the site because, um, I didn't realize it was available until it was featured on a happy hour. I think there's 10 of each one. Um, PD says hi. Maybe 12. So this one is Memo. Love the graph on there. Um, this one is Inbox. Big blank open space. And then this one is Goals. And there's room for five goals on there. So we got those. And... Cloth and paper always has. I love these little pockets. I've been filling them up. Um, freebie card. It's a V. And it says, um, Vorfrud. The joyful, intense anticipation that comes from imagining future pleasures. And then the planification card. A goal without a plan is just a wish. So that is the first cloth and paper order. I have such a huge supply of journaling cards that it's crazy. All right, so we're going to set that aside. Our next order is from Elamon Paper Co. And this, um, I ordered for dashboards for my word of the year. So here are her freebies. You can't make decisions based on fear and the possibility of what might happen, Michelle Obama. Um, and then like a blank 
card you could use for like journaling or affirmation or whatever you choose. Um, so these are like a glossy, it's like a glossy type material, um, both sides of the paper. And my word of the year is worthy. So these are word of the year dashboards and it's personalized based on the word that you give her and the definition that you give her. So the definition that I found that I really liked to embody this word is having worth or excellence, possessing merit, valuable, deserving, virtuous. Um, so I got two of them in the half letter size. I'm going to put one in my regular half letter and one in my budget, business budget half letter. Um, I wish that it was available in HP Mini, but she does not have it available for that size because I would have done one um, for my HP Mini as well. As soon as the last of these things come in for my HP Mini, y'all, I cannot wait to do a flip through and share with you. I absolutely love this HP Mini that I have set up. I love the size. I love what I've got set up and how I'm using it. I just, it's so cute. Anyway, um, I also got this timeline for the half letter. Um, it's a set of 16 pages and I don't know how I'm going to use this. I, I, I actually need to look and see like some examples of how you use it, but um, it's like a timeline for the year and you are basically like tracking a goal. I thought it would be good for me to track like my shop, my shop revenue because I have a shop revenue goal. Also like getting on Shopify, um, things that I have to do to get to that point. Um, so when I say I don't know how I'm going to use it, I, I have an idea. I just haven't decided just yet. And then I just, I don't know, like, what do you fill out first? Are you putting like goalpost here and like the things you have to do? I mean, you could probably do it any number of ways, but I just don't know exactly how you're supposed to use it. But I know it's for like tracking a goal or a project. So I got the timeline insert. This will probably also go in my business budget book because that is where I'm tracking all things business related. So that is the Elamon Paper Co. There's the shop name order. And um, that is what I got there. Next, we have an order from Sticker Guru. Okay, Sticker Guru's having a sale. And now they're having another sale because I think Lucy's getting married. Um, and it, it is like... <laughs> Mia, do not get on Sticker Guru and buy anything else, but here I am, so, because I can't pass up a good sale, and I think what was pulling me into um, the, the sale that's going on now, I think it's through the weekend, is the $5 random kit, you can, $5 for a $22 kit is like a really good deal, but the random part. I'm picky about my kits, so. Mm. But then you could get 60% off of icons and scripts and stationery, 50% off of Bujo Guru and Kit Deco, 40% off of discontinued items, and there is a $15 washi bundle. I don't need any of those things. Anyways, here's what I got in my last sticker guru order. Um, I think I shared with you all in the overstock box that I purchased that I really loved the pin. Um, so I think that one is gold. It's in my HP mini. I, I like it. I like how it writes. So I got another one in gold. I got two in silver and one in rose gold. This was actually a bundle for the, the three different colors. And then I added an extra silver. Um, I assume that they are all going to write the same as the one that I got before. The one that I got before was actually a freebie um, because I spent so much. So let's see. I think PD is sitting under my chair like he is not going to get squished. Um, so here is the, I got the little thing on it. And these are similar to the um, Simply Gilded pins, but I always feel like the Simply Gilded pin is wobbly. I can't explain it, but like the tip to me feels wobbly on, this, on the Simply Gilded pin. 
So I don't know if this is gel ink. I think it is. Let me double check. Yeah, me out here using a ballpoint ink pen. Um, no, it is gel ink. So gel ink, and then um, it's 0.5 millimeter. And I just like, I like the way it writes. It's not quick drying, but if you give it a second, it it, it is fine. So um, I got those four pens. Um, and I got the different colors because I like to change out the color scheme in my planner. I got a set of tweezers. Actually, I got two. One purple. I think this is considered purple. Y'all know Sticker Guru don't give you a receipt, so I don't know what I got exactly. And then black. And then there, um, this is, they're both straight. I've been using these a lot for, um, like the clear foiled stickers and things. So, um, let me look at what I ordered because... Um, I don't know what things are called. Um, oh, I, I know. Okay, I know what I did. Okay, so here is, this is a kit. This is their subscription. What month are we in for January? But I just did the one time on that. So I'll show you that in just a second. Then I got okay, so here's a freebie sheet. Little Valentine's hearts. Um, this is a freebie, the Bujo Guru um thank you card. And then um their big plans thank you card. So there's that. Then I got these, they are called um I think they're like they're watercolor stickers, but I got them for different places. They're places that I've been or want to go, and like the next time I go, I thought it would be fun to use these to decorate in my planner with, so they won't be used anytime soon. But San Francisco, I live so close to San Francisco to not go on a regular basis. It's just absolutely insane. But um, San Francisco, Las Vegas, New York... Um, this one is like the shop creator, all the things that we do, pack orders, um, work, go to the post office. So I got two of those. So I just thought it was super cute. And then Cheerio London. Thought that was cute. Okay. So I got those. Those are Bujo Guru watercolors. Then I got, um, these bookshelves. I think this is rose gold. Um, and then book stacks. And then I got, I think, all of the months. So, um, gold foil. And um, I love that these have, a, like, there's extra months. There's a big month and then there's extra smaller months. A hello for each month. And then the most common holidays in the month. So, I got every month. Um, this is January, February, March. April, May, June, July, August. Now, August doesn't have any holidays, so that's fine. September, October. November and December and um, these are the foiled monthly script add-on sheet um, this is like it's clear but it looks like a frosted clear so that's interesting it's probably just matte um, this I think will primarily be used in my business budget book because that one does not, it's a blank calendar, so I have to fill in the date. So I've already done January and February for the month, but going forward, I will have those. Then I got the um, 
open enrollment January subscription, which was Planner Girl. So um, it included washi, which is these little, I don't know what you would call those, little decorative things on there. And then um, transparent sticky notes. Let's see if I can get the color for So this, the theme of this box is Mm, it doesn't go into detail, um, but you get the sticky notes, vellum sticky notes, you get a journaling card, so all the little planner goodies, I thought that was super cute, it's got the marble background, um, here are the stickers, so there is a, um, foiled weekly, and then, um, a clip art deco sheet and then six foiled sheets. So here is the Planner Girl Floral, Planner Girl Deco, and then here are the full boxes. This is looking like rose gold foil. So those are pretty. Got washi and um, here's some additional boxes, and then your headers and boxes and things so there's that and then here are the six foiled sheets so i love the planning time floral toppers floral date dots binder clips those are so cute latte art and floral deco so that is the sticker guru order I love these. Looking forward to using those. Um, okay, so next. Oh, and one more. Here's the washi. That was part of also the kit. There's two rolls of washi. 15 millimeter and a 5 millimeter. Okay, next we have um, an order, another order from cloth and paper. Um, so I love the way that this was packaged. They sent, um, three of these boxes inside one big box. So now I feel like I have these nice unbanged up boxes that I can reuse from cloth and paper. Um, and inside of them is the archive box. So I got one in my um, subscription and then I got three more of them when they became available and this is a great box to store your old planners or to store um, supplies in and it just looks really nice um, I save my planners so um, this is like a perfect solution for me I have some from Erin Condren um, but the quality is not the best, and, um, it's like, I'll show you in just a second, it's just bulky, and, um, if I'm stacking them on top of each other, they push in, and so this, the way this is made, it, the lid is out side of the edge so if you put them on top of each other it's not going to cave in um it's got this just really nice beautiful white linen cover um and there's just like plenty of room in here so um it's got a nice nice closure design to it um i just love it so i got three of them because that was the maximum that you could get but i'm gonna see if i can get some more um <laughs> 
I don't know if it was a three order limit or a three customer limit. But here is to show you, this is an Erin Condren one, which I love this blue, of course. I love these. But for the purpose of storing my planners, if I set another one on here, you see how it caves in. Um, and I have probably like seven of them stacked and I have them turned this way. Um, but then it bulges out at the side because um, once I get all the stickers in my planner, it's chunky. So this was my 2022, one of my um, A5 Daily Duos. I don't know if it's going to fit in here either. No, it doesn't. So it's not going to solve that problem because it's too, too big to close. Um, but I could probably get my life planner in here. Let's we'll see. Let's see on things because I didn't try first. Maybe my business budget. This is last year's life planner. That doesn't fit either. Okay. So this might have been a bust. But y'all know I got plenty of planner supplies so I will find a way to use these. So I got three of those. Then I also got if nothing else I will say, I have this nice soft and paper black box now because it was inside of a cardboard box where I could use that for the purpose of storing. Like I have some other things I can put in here with it, so that may work. And I might be able to get both of my A5 Daily Duos in here as well, so we'll see. So then the rest of my cloth and paper order, um, okay, so we got some more of the Lux page flags. We have urgent and private. Let's come back down. Um, so we got those, those are new ones. And then I really, I'm, I done said this 8 million times. I'm gonna keep saying it cause it's annoying to me. I wish they would stop doing one a week. Just release them all. Because nobody's trying to order once a week with your cloth and paper. I'd be out of here ordering every week. It don't make no sense. Um, anyways, because they released one yesterday for happy hour. That is task. Okay, well, I want task, but I'm not placing an order. I'm not, I'm not, not, not this week anyway. Um, okay, so <laughs> um, I got an inbox, outbox dashboard for both half letter and HP mini size. Um, and so... We got those, and then um, we got some different, no, same, this one's different. Those who live will see, and the planification journaling card, so those were included in my order, um, and that is the, the second cloth and paper order. Okay, last order is um, from Simply Gilded. So, I, let me put this away, I placed this order last week, and then um, it is the winter box, and then today, the winter box extras went on sale, and I really just placed this order because I wanted the washi, I, the, all the other stuff, I didn't really want it, um, but I didn't know or think the extras were ever coming, <laughs> so, um, I was like, let me just grab the box, which was 50% off. So I, I can't beat that. Um, and then I was able to use some rewards. So it worked out nicely. Um, so we got the winter box um, at the, the seasonal box winter 2022. I think it came out in late October, early November. So here are my freebie sheets. This is sheet sampler freebie 50. And we got a Love the Games journaling card. This is um, a, a journaling card that's part of the box. So that's the whole little winter scene there. And um, what was not in the box that I also got was this Passport Washi. This is the 12 Days of Simply Gilded Big City Life Passport Washi stamps. They're 25 millimeters light gold foil. This was an extra because I did not um, do the 12 Days of Simply Gilded, but this was an extra from the 12 Days of Simply Gilded. So I grabbed that um, and I will show you that rolled out as well. 
Um, so here are those passports. So it includes Rome, London, Hong Kong, Paris, New York, Kenya, San Francisco, and Sydney. And they're just so pretty. So I got that. And then um, in the box is... I like this because I can turn this box also inside. I'm a box person. I know I've asked y'all about boxes and you're like, no, we want the contents inside. But I'm a box person. So I can turn this inside out. Um, really cute landscape. I love the colors on this. Um, so I can turn that inside out and use the box for something else. Um, so here is what is inside. Um, this is going to be part of a washi holder. I have another washi holder like stand. It sits up like this, and you have your rolls of washi on here. Um, the chances of me using that are pretty slim, but I like the blue color, so there's that. And that actually may not be the true color, because that's probably film that you pull off. Anyway. Okay, so we got stickers. And really use Simply Gilded stickers all that frequently. I'll probably save these for next winter. Um, so we got a little freebie sheet and it says season's greetings, gold, um, silver foil. We have the winter barn deco sheet. Just like a minty green color. Um, got all the little boxes and headers. And I think the reason I don't use their stickers as much is because I have to use like a microperm or a um, in the Pilot Super Color or the um, any oil-based pen, and I don't typically. That's not what I'm usually writing with, so um, it's not my. They're not my favorite when it comes to writing on them. So here is the boxes: Magical Winter, and then you've got three weeks of Day of the Week headers. Actually, there's four. So one, two, three, and four, and then some additional boxes and headers, and then lists and things. So those are the stickers. Got this cute little pouch. Um, it's like a holographic iridescent. So that's pretty. And then inside of that, we have an album. Now, I do like this album because it is like that taupe color that I am loving for this year. So, we'll definitely be putting that to use. And then um, we got a bow. I'm not a bow person, but maybe I should start being a bow person because it's also in the taupe color. And that would might be fun. pretty. And now we've got this heart. I think it is a coaster. Yes. So I kind of like that hollow, pretty hollow color. Now this, I don't know if I'm going to use this. I guess I could. I always have a drink in my um, bedroom dresser on the side table. So I could sit, sit it on there. It's, it's like so pretty. I would hate to ruin it. Um, we have sticky notes. We have a pen. I'm going to come back to that. We have a bookmark. So, the way that this works, it's like a, put it on the corner of a page. Um, which this is something I would use as well. So, you just slide that on the corner of the page and you mark your page. This is the base to the washi holder. And then this is the washi. This was the reason I got it. I kept seeing this washi stack and it, it's just, it was speaking to me. These colors are so pretty. It's just a blue winter wonderland to me. The blue and the white. Um, I just love it. So that was really why I wanted the box, but I didn't want all the other things. But I like these other things. This pen is also got the same like blue to white ombre color and I love it as well. I'm gonna see if that one feels wobbly to me. And then here is the washi rolled out. So 
Um, I don't know if you can really get the true essence of these colors, but um, this is very much like the um, stickers with the, the bluish green color, but then the washi to me feels more of a blue, and you've got, it looks like blue foil, maybe it's silver, grayish silver blue, I don't know, is really pretty, with gold foil as well, and then the white um, dangles are gold foil. I just thought this washi was gorgeous. Now, she may have had it on the site with a filter, but I was sold. So, I love this this washi stack, um, and I might go on there and see. I don't need another set, but jeez. Okay, let me just see real quick how I'm feeling about this pen. And we're going to write on the back of that. So, I love the color on this, the silver. I love the way they write. I just feel like when I'm writing, like the tip is moving. I can't, it's, it's like this whole little piece right here is, is moving back and forth. And I don't like that, but it writes great. Now, I don't know. It's a little smear on there, but. Um, if I could just figure out why it's doing that, if anybody knows why they do that and if there's a fix for it, please tell me. Because I got about 50 Simply Gilded pins over here from the subscription boxes <laughs> and I never use them for that reason. Anyways, that is this week's Friday Night Lights haul. It was a lot this week, so I hope that you were able to stay with me. Um... If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Let me know what your favorite thing is. Um, it's hard for me to pick one thing that is my favorite. I love, these are things that I purchased that I had an idea that I was going to love and want to use. Um, so my favorite thing is probably this washi because I've wanted it for like three months now. But I also am really looking forward to being able to use these um month stickers from sticker guru and um their pins as well and i'm pretty darn excited about these new lux page flags because i absolutely love them so lots of things to love in this haul let me know your favorite don't forget to like and subscribe um, comment down below what you are loving from this haul and i will see you next time. Happy Friday Night Lights. Bye.